Hi, it's Phoenix Genesis. I want to show you some um, nether updates I did today. I've been working hard. This is my Phoenix Genesis Survival World in the default pa texture pack in March. It's going to be eight years old. Hard to believe. Um, I have three worlds I work on. It's nice to have a little variety. My super flat, then my netherland with the city texture pack, and that's going to be eight years old in February. And then my um, super flat was eight in December. So long time playing Minecraft. Guess I'll be playing it till they stop making it. Um, and I do take a lot of time off. I take like took um, like I don't know four months. Um, no, I took about six months off. I was raising Razor, my new Siberian Husky woolly puppy. You can see videos of my channel on him. So anyway, I, th I think I did dig all this out. It was too close to the edge, uh, and I decided to remodel it. And I think it just came out really pretty with the glass and wanted to make it very colorful with the, uh, I'm using here the orange carpet to keep, so I don't have all the pigment spawning in here. The, uh purple concrete and then the quartz and then yeah the colored glass and the end rods uh to, i like it very well lit up but yes it's a nice uh remodeled very functional um this was originally the uh road but it was too close to the edge it got buried so i decided to put another one in and then i realized that it's still um even though the nether rack filled up it was still there so you know who knows um you know, maybe who knows what I'll do with it. There's all kinds of different things I could do with it. But yeah, you can see the design in here. It's really, really, I think it came out very nice. This goes to um, a, um, it's kind of cool down here. I'll take a little quick, quick peeky poo down here. I should have brought a mine cart. Actually, I have one in the, in the uh, dispenser, but this is kind of <laughs> creepy. There's all this lava. And all these shulkers in here too with goodies, yes. So um forgot about those. Yeah, the cool thing about having spreading out your survival world and working on it for so long, even if you were doing a creative world versus survival world or adventure world and spreading it out is you don't go to certain areas for a long time and it feels like kind of brand new. It keeps your world a little more fresh instead of just like building in one area. Uh, and then we go up here. Got some nether ward up here. This is the train, sta you know, station part up here. Um, actually, yeah, um, that portal, by the way, uh, if you want to see where the portal goes. No, it takes too long to load. I'm not going to show you. It goes to where my um, polar bear area is. Now, here, most of my rail that goes all the way around is single track, but this time I decided what to do is... Um, run is I decided to have an express lane on the other side of that wall and then um, have a local stop over here and this is where the piglin um, bastion is so um, and I kind of made little um, fenced in this area so the piglins can't actually uh, you know get out of this area and, and, and like leave their bastion I love that just that one chain there I may add some chain but the, yeah that chain's natural but see they're all down there I think there was a chest down here too I saw a minute ago yeah so this part little walkway here safety walkway I made it with slabs so I would know that I did it um yeah there we go and there's yeah there's a chest of something down there I don't want to go down there right now though so anyway so yeah this is like their little fenced in playpen area and then um, I have little stairs also. I kind of uh, just went with the natural flow of everything to kind of get in here. I love that gilded black stone. So beautiful. Mushroom was there. I did not add that in there. It's just kind of cool. I'm going to leave it there. And yeah, I should actually dig this out at some point, but I, th I don't know. It's cool the way it, it generated like that. So I used, I, again, I f always forget what they call the green wood in the in the nether. You could drop that in the comments. I always forget. But anyway, I wanted to make like a little base where I can um, get my netherite and I can also trade with the... Um, with the piglins because you need gold anyway to make the uh, you get your um nether, your ancient de i'm sorry you get the ancient debris, debris then you get the scraps and you mix it with the gold so that you can get the netherite bars and gets and then you can make your um updated 
yeah, another right goodies. Um, and always have a gold, gold something so you can trade with them. So I have that ready to go here if I want to fly, if I want to battle, if things go <laughs> terribly wrong in the, the bartering. Uh, I like displaying my ores. <laughs> They're hard to get. I always do that in my world until I'm ready to use them. Display your bling. Um, and I love that I kept with the same carpet kind of design and theme and color as my... Um, cat music room and my main base in the overworld and also my nether base here just kind of and oh and you know if, if you're not familiar with my roads they're all color coordinated so I kind of know what color is in what direction and where it's going orange is the one that wraps around the world so I kind of and red is the center that goes through the spawn so by keeping those colors too it kind of matches how the orange comes in and the red kind of matches the um, red uh, mycelium and you know kind of yellow here for the green so I really took a lot of time to plan out the carpet and just the lodestone is very important um, see bastion base and I can take that lodestone pair it up and it, and here's the map and, it, and you can always see where you are with the uh, locator map so even though the compass spins in a circle I still know where I am and I can get back to my base because I have no roads in the um, really any in the bedrock yet um i do over in one area i found another fortress um down there there's a like a thing but yeah i don't have any roads yet in um either the overworld or the underworld so yes it's so amazing to think i've been doing this for almost eight years <laughs> all two of my world one of my worlds turned eight another one's going to turn eight and this one's going to turn eight in march yeah my other netherland world turns eight in february and my super flat turned eight years old in um, in December of last year. Hard to believe. Long time playing Minecraft. Probably play it till they stop uh, making it. And I do take time off. I took like six months off so I could raise my puppy. So it was it was um, a good break. Came back freshened, you know, ready to uh, do a lot of stuff again. Um, and then I gotta start training for my hike, so I won't be doing much more. But when I come back from the hike again, when I'm done with the, whatever I do with the PCT, then I will be ready again. This is the second portal that's a big portal that's all the gold I've gotten so far. Um, until I'm ready to use it, I have a place to, again, I like to dis I'd rather display it than put it in chess. I just think it looks so cool. Anyway, we just got packed ice. I was very excited <laughs> and made this like. Um, portal so and then over here this was where the bedrock was and I put um, stuffed the holes of the bedrock with um, these colored wool blocks and I wanted to just kind of see what would happen when it made the bedrock and it would also show me the boundary and it ate all the bedrock to add the new part of the uh, world and, and it left all this so I just kind of left it the way it was so um, then I have a little path down there. Put this little bridge out here today. So um, that's that's it. And you can see where this um, portal takes 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 me to the shack. Actually, yeah, the love shack. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll show you how it connects to my base now. So then we're gonna go down here and. This color takes me back to my base. This one and the yellow one. Actually, the mine carts are so, were so fast in Legacy and they're so slow in this world that it's like um, not even worth it. Oh yeah, too. That was another thing I did a while ago. I, I built an end ship down here. <laughs> Because everybody should have an end ship in the overworld and an end ship in the nether. And, and um, yeah, I guess show you my uh, sunken ship in a bottle I did in my Netherland world. That was pretty cool, man. I figured out how to put water in the nether. I haven't done it in this one. That one, that one's more experimental. That if I mess it up, I don't feel as bad as if I messed up this world. This is like what my main one. I guess it's my main world. I don't know. They're all my main world. I love building each one. So I w um, I'll be happier with the super flat if I can start um, programming custom biomes if they let us uh, eventually. I mean, I do build custom things, but if I could really like plop in a snow biome in the super flat, it wouldn't be all um, could stay survival like it is and still have real biomes. That would be very cool. Even if they're flat, you know, that would be very cool. 
So yeah, my little fireplaces. So yeah, and then here you come to my main base, which I'll save. Um, you know, I'll save a full tour of this for later. What is that down there? Oh, it's just a button. Open the door. So anyway, and then we jump through here. Yeah, I'll show you this one. Um, see, you see the kind of the same theme of the colored carpets. And we jump through here. And we're back home. You'll see how long it takes to load to like really, I mean, it used to be so good, you just jumped in and you were right out in the overworld, but no, not anymore. I mean, there's a point where you can't keep adding things to Minecraft without like, you know, the software part, unless the hardware is the equivalent and it's still like, PS5s aren't readily available and still, it still glitches and when I play with other people, it glitches and takes a while to load. So yeah, here's my world and when did I start? Yes, right here is happy seven year anniversary, about to be eight year. I started March 18th, 2015. So uh, yeah, it's almost, um, <laughs> hard to believe, almost eight years. Yeah, that was, oh, if you haven't seen it yesterday, that that's good because now you can see the map that's for the uh, village for the, uh, can in the city I'm building, the Canadian um, Trucker Freedom Memorial of 2022. Yeah, it looks really nice on the map. But yeah, I did that video. Yeah. And hi, Torpedo named after looks just like my cat that came up one day, stayed for a year and disappeared. And there's Jake, my Siberian Husky, which we still have. Um, Anyway, uh, that's it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, give you a big tour of my main house, too, one day. Um, probably for the eight-year anniversary, I'll tour the main house. It's so massive. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye-bye.